Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of John Can, You Can. This is my regular camping refrigerator, and I just put the sacrificial hole in it, oh, right? Right there, a three inch hole with a hole cutting saw that you connect to your drill. And I uh, kept the core because that is a plug. The plug will be used when I need to plug that hole. But let me show you why I'm doing it this way and why, why I did that. You see a transformer here, 12 volt transformer, that plugs from AC, which is your wall current, to DC direct current, which is your 12 volt current. And uh, it's ready to go. It's sitting up here. I bought it on Amazon. That is it right there. Plenty more powerful than it needs to be, but it's cool because I can have one that's gonna last a long time. Okay, so why did I do that hole? Okay, I am making a small air conditioner for individual use with one or two people close by for inside my Rover King camper when I have my fridge inside and it's too hot just to manage to cool off, then this is what I will do to put it for personal close use. Okay, so let's look at what I've done so far. I've taken an ordinary vacuum, four inch diameter vacuum connector which I bought online with accessories from Amazon for 30 bucks. And I put in a three and a half inch fan motor that's for a refrigerator. So using a refrigerator fan is a good idea, right? Okay, the reason it goes on that side is it sucks from that side. It, that's where the suction is. The suction is on that side. And then it goes into the shroud upside down it's because it's going to pull the air up and blow it from inside the fridge to the outside of the fridge so that's why i have it made that way so i put the fan in which is a perfect fit for this shroud and it's inside so it's recessed on this side and it's recessed on the inside because this piece is going to go on here onto this hole where you see this hole. So I just, let me remove this plug out of the way. And that's how that's gonna go. So that'll be on top of the fridge. And then you have the handy dandy transformer which connects into the plug here. And then you have an operating fan that's gonna thrust air out at a, at a good rate. Now, it came with accessories, so I have a collapsible 36 inch hose that has the attachment that I put on it that will connect on top of the fan right there, like that. So when I have that on, then I can extend out the hose and direct it any direction I want. I can even put this piece on the end so that it forces the air out of a a smaller hose and a smaller hole so that's a that's a really good idea too so I, I may I may go and do that but or I can just use the big end and let the air just come out but this would force it into a better area and so you want it kind of close to you but still great right because remember you can put bottled ice into your fridge and have that while you're going down the road and, and insert the plug from the bottom so it keeps your fridge cool while it's operating. Have your frozen foods in there and your refrigerated goods. And uh, when the fan's not on, it's not taking it any of that cold air away. However, having the extra bottles of frozen water doesn't hurt, right? So. I have a plan and uh, it's going to work. I know it's going to bring out dry air because the fridge keeps things dry, right? That's why they 
make it so that it keeps the moisture out of your fridge and keeps it cool so it's not all humid and wet inside. And that's where all these other devices fail. But there, this is a, that's my regular fridge, so I need it anyway. But the component parts of this is uh, less than $100 for what I need to put this together. So pretty cool. No pun intended, right? Okay, and there you go. Next video, we'll show you the completed and working one. Adventure on, everyone.